the way I look at it is everybody tells, everybody keeps telling me how good we're going to be next year. So if we're going to be that good next year, we should be pretty good this year. And that's just the way I've always looked at it. So I'm not going to sacrifice. Everybody keeps talking about next year. Well, that's unfair to Max and, and, and all of our seniors. Like, we want to be good now. I, and we're not guaranteed next year. So let's just make sure we, we take care of the business now. But I do like the upside of this team. Like I said, I think we're, the way we play, we're extremely dangerous. But uh, we got a, we got a, some work to do, but our scrimmage schedule has been very strong. And uh, we're looking forward to getting things started here in a couple weeks. We got uh, a lot of guys who just haven't played a lot of varsity, like, but who are more than capable of doing so. Trey's a freshman, obviously, but there's times that he will play like a senior. Tommy would have been a starter last year. So you can just go through the whole list of young guys. They're, they're more than capable of playing on this level. Max has the most experience out of any of us playing varsity basketball, so he's really been a help out there to the younger guys. And I think just communicating with everyone else is the big thing that we need to continue to do. A lot of us, we're kind of inexperienced from our, on, uh, kind of inexperienced with varsity basketball, so it's just going to be going to help have a boost from that when with their leadership. Speaking of experience, you don't get much more experience than a freshman point guard, but Trey is pretty oh, special. What do no. you bring to the table? It's, he's, so, he's really good. He's a great finisher and can shoot from anywhere on the court. And he's always looking for his teammates. You can always find, you can always hit me whenever I'm open. He's, 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 good. he's a good uh, point guard to have. He's, he's one of those can't miss kids that, that grew up in our program. He's been sitting on the bench as a ball boy for us for years. And uh, like Gessler, you just kind of knew um, with him growing up and, and, and playing travel for us. Like he just has, he has that extra gear. He has that twitch. He has that love and passion for the game. He works at it. Um, yeah, it, it's most coaches. You don't feel real comfortable handing the keys to a freshman, but uh, he. Like I told you earlier, he probably has as much responsibility as anybody I've ever coached uh, that started for us as a freshman. He's our point guard. The ball's in his hands a lot, but uh, we feel that comfortable and confident in him to get the job done. Yeah, I've always been in the locker room, like after the games, before the games, knowing what what they're going to do, the strategy behind it, and I've all, it's also helped me with the chemistry around the guys. You know, I just fit right in with them now. He plays at his own pace, and he knows when to pass, when not to pass, and how to control the game. And what's it about Brunswick that can always shoot? Because I'm watching you knock down shot after shot, and I, every year, I, any time I see a Brunswick team, the Brunswick team can shoot. Uh, we put in shots every practice, at least 200 a practice. We, uh, we have Swish around here. Everyone goes there. We play. We, we do runs. We get shots up on the gun and all that. I'm not sure, but it's a lot of fun to play with. You know, we can get out there, get in transition, knock down some threes. So I think that's that's the most dangerous part of our game is if we're not if we're missing, it's it's gonna be if we're not missing, it's gonna be hard to guard. It's one of those teams early where we're gonna beat somebody that no one thinks we're gonna beat, and then we might turn around and lose a game by ten that everyone's scratching their heads. Hopefully by January we fix all that.